Hey guys, welcome back to Love and Junk. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we are making Irish stew, just in time for St. Patrick's Day. Sounds amazing to me. And me too. What I am choosing to do is keeping it simple, basically. We have a chuck roast here, we have some butter and oil that we're going to cook this stuff in, and we have chicken broth, and we're using Guinness for the liquid. We have onion, carrots, and celery, and then we're going to season it up, and we're going to serve it in a bed of mashed potatoes. So I think we're going to get to chopping all of this stuff. We'll show you how it's all prepped. We'll cook it together, and then give it a try at the end. Okay, so here's what we are doing. We have dredged the meat and seasoned with salt and pepper, cooked it in a combination of olive oil and butter, and then we're, to not crowd the pan, as soon as it gets done, we're adding it to a plate. And when it's all done, we'll dump the plate back in with the juices and all of that, and then add the other ingredients. Yep, and I've been chopping. Chopping onions, chopping celery. We, ch oh. we opted to go the baby carrot route um, so that there was no chopping with that. Yep. And they were cheaper than actual carrots, so why not? Why not? Okay, so here's what's left after we have cooked all of the beef. We removed it, and now we're leaving all the good brown bits in the pan. We're going to add the onion. And we'll go from there. So we're going to cook the onion and then we're going to add some garlic and then we're going to add some flour for thickener. And then we're going to start the deep glaze with the Guinness. All right, so we cooked up the meat and then we added an onion. We cooked that till translucent and we added a couple tablespoons of garlic. Let that cook for about a minute. I added a couple of tablespoons of flour and until, until it coated the onions. And now I'm going to add some tomato paste for depth of flavor, also for a little bit of acidity. I'm going to stir that around in here. They always say to cook your tomato paste a little bit um, to kind of get the can taste out, right? Is not what they say? Something like that. So we're going to smush it around with all of this stuff. And then it's time to deglaze and throw everything in and then it's going to sit and bubble and call to us for the next hour or two. <laughs> okay. Ready to add the Guinness? Sure. I pour it on the back of the spoon so it doesn't splash so much. And we are going to let that cook, and I'm going to scrape the bottom of the pan, and then I'm going to add the other ingredients, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all assembled. All right, so we have added all of the ingredients, and so the carrots went in, and the celery went in, and uh, I've seasoned it. Yeah, and we with, added a, another onion because we thought it needed more. Yeah, sometimes you can't tell, right? When you're cooking, you want to see what it looks like, and that's kind of how I cook anyway, with, is with a recipe. I know that this looks a little bit loose right now, but it will thicken up as it cooks. So now that it's bubbling, I'm going to reduce the temp down to low, and put a lid on this guy and let him sit for about an hour, hour and a half. And we are going to serve it on a bed of mashed potatoes. It's going to be delicious. Yeah. Ah, oh, put a lid on it. You put a lid on it. Put a lid on it. We'll show you what it looks like when it's done, guys. So we're back. It's dinner time. Finally, we've been uh, smelling this for hours and hours and hours. It yeah. seems like actually just like an hour and a half. I'm starving. So... As you can tell, I've overfilled my bowl. 
Yeah, he can go back for seconds. I, I, anyway, so um, we cooked it for about an hour and a half, and I think about the last half hour we had the lid off for it to thicken up a little bit, and then we have it with a bed of mashed potatoes. Yes. Ready to give it a try? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I gotta try doing this without overflowing my bowl. And making a mess. It smells super good. You can smell the thyme. It does it. smell. Oh, so I should say this too. I seasoned it with um, garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, thyme, bay. Mm, nice. So. Mm, that is really good. Yum. Some people make Irish stew or regular stew. Um, with potatoes in it. I kind of like to make it with potatoes on the bottom. That's how my mom taught me. I like it like that. Yeah. So then the juices and and what juices? The liquid has some place to go, and you sop it up. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, mashed potatoes with this, uh, absolutely delicious. Mm hmm. Mm. It's just like such a hearty, like comforting meal. We got snow today. It was a little bit cooler. It had been nice, but today mm -hmm. turned out to be a colder day. And like right. I said, we got snow, so it's like perfect for that. So the meat was like brown initially, but cooked for that hour and a half. It is just like so tender mm -hmm. and falling apart. Mm -hmm. But the carrots are not mushy. Yeah, yeah carrots um, are good. Yeah, everything is really good. Mm -hmm. I love cooking with beer, too. The Guinness in here, you can taste it. It's not overpowering, but it just... And helps. I don't like Guinness like that. Like, just to drink it, it's too... Uh, what do you call it? Stouty for me. Okay. <laughs> Some, it's too something for me. I'm a lager person if I'm going to drink a beer. It's too, um, I don't know what the word is. But it provides a nice earthiness to this. Right, stew. I do like it in this. Yeah, yum. Mm -hmm. So give it a try. Not very expensive. When you think about it, the chuck roast is the biggest expense. Right. Um, and still not that much yeah and then some chicken broth and one bottle of guinness or you, if you can find it in a can um that's fine too and then we just the thing of baby carrots was like a dollar and we got some celery and some onions i mean it's not it's not very expensive it no, takes a simple. little it's simple it doesn't take a lot uh-oh it doesn't take long to prepare it's just chopping things it takes a while to cook but that's one of our favorite parts, I think. One of your favorite parts is <coughs> is smelling that. Like oh, you come so home good. from work and yeah. you can smell you something. Walk in and... Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was my favorite too, like when I was a kid. My mom would make something like this. Yeah, this is absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna enjoy this and we got enough for several days. Mm -hmm. So, great. Um, if you don't follow us over on Instagram, you want to see pictures up close of our stew or whatever else we're cooking, or our cat, or what we're up to, <laughs> over there we'll love and junk with no D, so it's L-O-V-E, <coughs> I think it's pepper, get me, A-N-J-U-N-K. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're putting Please. out new things all the time, new products, new cooking, new, we're vlogging a little bit, yeah. all kinds of stuff. Um, and hit the little bell Ding. so you can be notified <laughs> when a new video does go mm -hmm. out. Now, if you like comfort food. Oh, this is very comforting. Or learning a new recipe. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Or weekend meals, all that kind of thing, or us, or the video, then give this video a big thumbs up. And that's all we have for today. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.